Well, a bear sighted in Porter Ranch Ooh. in this community has this city buzzing this evening. The bear was not only seen, but also wandered into a store. Yeah, so right. we have the pictures to prove it. CBS 2's Candace Crone is live in Porter Ranch with details and reaction. Yikes, Candace. <laughs> yeah, apparently people were trying to pet it and feed it. I know I probably would have took off running as soon as I saw it. But the bear apparently was uh, roaming through uh, this Rouse uh, grocery store you see behind me there. Went down some aisles uh, before leaving empty-handed. Certainly had a lot of shoppers on edge, though. Check out the cell phone video uh, of the bear inside the grocery store. A man who lives in the area shot the video. Uh, the animal was spotted roaming around the shopping plaza here in Porter Ranch uh, near Walmart, uh, Islands restaurant even entering Ralph's. Well, police uh, received several calls about a bear sighting, but it just turned out to be one uh, bear, just one animal. Um, the Department of Fish and Wildlife uh, was called in. They managed to contain the bear inside a construction area behind Walmart. The animal was hiding out underneath a trailer for quite some time until authorities were able to reach it. Uh, they then tranquilized the 120 pound bear before relocating it. A member of the Porter Ranch Neighborhood Council was shocked when he saw video of the animal inside the grocery store. Oh, I thought it was amazing. <laughs> so, um, but I'm, I'm glad that nobody came in contact with the bear. Um, you know, anything can happen. And the bear certainly had turned a lot of heads, but fortunately, no one was hurt in this whole ordeal. Uh, back out here live at the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Uh, as I mentioned, they did tranquilize the bear and then relocated it. They moved it to uh, the Angeles National Forest. They said that they wanted to go deep into the forest to prevent uh, another possible uh, sighting uh, that happened today. We're live in Porter Ranch, Candace Crone, CBS 2 News. All right, Candace, thank you so much. A three-week-old